This is about the centre of Effingham Street now, where it joins Howard Street, which at one time would have been a crossroads. I'll walk down the centre so you can see shops on either side without you letting me, uh, without me explaining what they were. If something comes in my head, what I remember, I'll mention it. I don't know if it was that Brothers Market there or that Santander used to be a jeweller's. Remember Ratner's and the scandal in the 80s where he said they only flogged crap? Well, that used to be a Ratner's. That B&M's used to be Effingham Street entrance to Woolworths. Down here used to be what we used to call Red Lion Yard, and there were a pub in on end called Red Lion. I'll just see if it's still there. I doubt whether it will be. And if you, there's some, there's some tables there. Look, maybe, maybe it's still open. But if you carry on, that'll fetch you onto Bridge Gate. Right, let's get this done for you. Nation wine there used to be a shop what I re known as John Collier's Taylor's. That game X used to be shoe shops. I think that welcome to Rotherham and that card factory were shoe shops. It's pawnbrokers. In fact, I don't know if it was this building. This that used to be the uh, years and years ago. Before they, they demolished it in the 16 or 1700s with the College of Jesus, what uh, Thomas Scott of Rotherham founded. Anyway, this has changed. When I was a kid, this was your bus station. They were all like little islands down here, and your bus used to stop at each one. I remember the one that I used to catch to Brinsworth, where here. We're just about here, that's uh, what we used to call the tram sheds. And then in, in the 70s, they built some fountains, built some fountains here. These tram sheds, is, well, they're still here, look. In fact, there's an history plaque here. I don't know if you can read that. So yeah, we, we, we'd call these the tram sheds. I don't know why they're called tram sheds. But underneath where we are now, and these are entr Well, a bottom of church steps there with a, a gent's toilet, so I'm guessing this, on this side, must have been a, a woman's. There's another history plaque up there, look. Must have been an entry door here for ladies. In fact, it might have been that. And that went sign up there. What said ladies? That's top of Bridge Gate. That was entrance for gents' toilets down them steps. And here used to be a bank of, bank of phone boxes. 
So if you're ever meeting anybody, you'd always meet them at Botmuch. Meet you at Botmuch Church Steps. And it we used to be here. The phone boxes were church steps. Look at that glorious building, the Minster. Look at that. I don't know no history about this place. But it's very impressive. Wow, well, going up these, they're not famous church steps, but they probably are to Rotherham as There you have it again, look. No introduction to where I am now. John Mason, so that means I'm at the top of High Street. 11 o'clock, Saturday morning, it's empty. That last video I did, part one, when there was no one in town, and I thought it would be a good idea to do some filming. We're on a Sunday. You think it was Sunday now? Yeah, that uh, that oldest place in Rotherham is there. Look, I thought they called it the Three Tons. That's what it originally called uh, during whenever it was built a couple hundred years ago. I thought they called it Three Tons. It must have been the Three Cranes. And that's what they've recalled it again now they've uh, turned it back into a pub. Anyway, moving on. All this pedestrianisation to stop cars coming through town. Let's kill pedestrians off. All ex-Rotherham is. Can you see what's missing? British home stores. And that little snicket there, look. Which has always been there. Takes you up to cross where I started my part one video from. I'm coming to the bottom of High Street now, where it joined, where it's uh, bottom of High Street, bottom of Doncaster Road, College Street and Westgate, where they all join. I'm not taking you at Westgate, uh, not Westgate, I said Westgate didn't I, sorry, Wellgate, it's Wellgate, Westgate is on the part one video. Building there, you'll see this building on many old black and white ones, an old bank, I, I think it used to be Bank of Scotland, or not Bank of Scotland, Royal Bank of Scotland.
That bargain foods, I think it used to be a gent's place called Harry Fenton's. I don't know if it was that Peter Bird's or this Stems Floral Shop. It used to be uh, Thornton's Chocolates. This is that entrance to the Red Lion Yard. Still says it, the yellow. In fact, there you go, look. It must be still open. Hi, and the, them's them tables look from that other angle. I thought that place had closed down. Anyway, I'm at top of Bridgegate now. This place here used to be Barclays Bank. Joseph Peck's. I'm sure they were Joseph, like a Joseph Peck. And I think this McDonald's place used to be Halfords with his old bikes. That Angel pub there, look. And then they very much talked about County Borough. Which I don't mind, actually. It's not a bad pub. We go in there on match days. So, I think that finally concludes my Rotherham tours, my walkabouts. And I finished it where I finished my part one and started my part two. And now I finished my part three in the same spot at the bottom of Corporation Street. Where the Odeon Cinema used to be. That, that thing there what juts out, that, I'm sure that would have been the screen. So when you went in to watch your pictures, etc., that's where your screen would have been. So that's it then. There ain't going to be no more Rotherham videos on Town Centre anyway. Uh, Thank you for watching anyway. Nobody else has recognised me. It's a weird that isn't it? Town's empty, one little old woman asks me if I'm rather man and now that we've got a few more shoppers nobody knows who I am. <laughs> is, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to walk back to my car now. So, I hope I haven't rumbled on like I normally do. And I had no crap stories to tell in this one, did I? Which I really didn't want to tell any stories anyway. Uh, because I wanted it to be... Uh, I just wanted people to uh, see how Rotherham's changed. And it's not, it went about me went to back me to start with so it was about the town where I was brought up in and the things that I remembered so I'm going to end it there now so I'll see you on the next one whatever that may be I'll see you